Hello kids, and today we have three amazing games. So let's play our first game. Let's start. Today we're gonna learn about the farm animals and the savannah animals. And we're also gonna learn about the numbers and learn how to count them. So let's start. Oh, where did they go? And we need to find the farm animals and the wild animals. And we also need to find the numbers. And we have colorful crayons. So let's pick the pink crayon and let's open. Okay. And okay, here we have two animals and the number. So let's go for the animals. And here we have a pig. And is it big the farm animal or the wild animal? Let's look around. So here's the farm animals and here is the wild animals. And where should we place the pig? Yes, the pig is the farm animal. So we need to place it. Let's find the shape. Here is the shape of the pig. So let's fit it here. Great. And let's look at the next animal. So who we have here is a rooster. Great. And is a rooster a farm animal or the wild animal? Should we place it on this board or on this board? Okay. So the rooster is farm animal. And let's find the same shape. So here we have a big tail. And maybe we can try to place it here. So let's try here. No, it doesn't go here well. So we need to find another place. And I think it could be this one, but maybe we can try like this. No, you can see here is the part of the leg. So if we're gonna turn around and do this, great. We found the rooster. So then let's go through the number. And here we have the number six hey and let's look at the number board and where we can place the number six can you see let's go one two three four five and six great and we also have six wheels one two three four five and six Amazing, we found our first number and two farm animals. Let's continue by opening the next crayon. So let's take the brown one and let's shake it. And okay, we have here a lot of wheels and also the animals. So let's start with the animals. So we have here mama elephant and baby elephant. And where we should place uh, the elephants? Should we place on the wild animal board or on farm animal board? Where do you think we should? And yes, right, we should place on the wild animal board. Okay, and where we should fit them? Let's look at this shape. It's really long and huge. So here is this place for the two elephants. So let's place. Great. Well done. And let's look at the next one. So who we have here? It's a giraffe. And is a giraffe the wild animal or the farm animal? Do you think it's the farm or the wild one? Correct. You're right. The giraffe is wild animal. So let's place this wild animal in the corresponding shape. So here is the shape of the giraffe here. And well done, congratulations. And we also have the sheep. And where, and is the sheep the farm animal or the wild animal? What do you think? Correct, the sheep is the farm animal. So let's find the correct shape. Maybe let's try here. No doesn't go here well and maybe let's try this shape and yes well done 
So let's continue with our numbers. So here we have the number 10 and it's a violet color. So let's look at the number board and see where we can place the number 10. Can you see? Yes, we can place it here at the end of the number board like this. Great. And we also have 10 wheels that we can put here. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the last one, 10. Amazing. Good job. And the next, we're gonna open the blue, yellow, green, orange and red and which one we should open which one do you think let's open the yellow one let's take the crayon and let's shake oh so many animals here we have in that crayon so let's go for the animals we have four animals here so let's take this animal and here we have the rabbit and let's look at the two boards where we should place the rabbit on the farm animal side or on a wild animal side should it go here or here correct it should go on a farm animal and where we should place you see the rabbit is pretty small so there is only one place for the rabbit here great let's continue with other animals and here we have another animal and who do you think it is? It is bull. Great. And where we should take the bull? To the farm anim animal or to the wild animal? Let's look again. Here or here? Yes, we should place the bull on the farm animal side. And let's find the place. Should we do it here? No, we can't. So let's try to use this shape and great amazing and then the next one let's turn around and who we have here you know it it's a monkey and let's look at two boards is it wild animal or is it farm animal let's look and think should it go here or here Yes, the monkey should go in a wild animal board. Where should we place the monkey? Yes, it should go here. Nice, beautiful. And then let's take the next one. Who we have here? It's called Yak. And where does the Yak live? In Savannah. Okay, so the Yak is wild animal. Okay, and where should we place the yak? Let's find the correct shape. And can you see it? Yes, it's this one. Great, well done. And let's continue with the number. And here we have the number three. And it is yellow color. Okay, so let's look at the numbers board. Where we should place the number three? Can you see? And yes, here. Great. And let's count together. One, two, and three. And let's open the next crayon. And the next crayon that we're gonna open gonna be the orange one. Let's take and shake it. Well done. And let's look what we have here. We have three animals and the numbers so let's start with the animals let's turn around this one and who we have here the yellow animal who lives in the savanna it's called leopard and the leopard is wild animal so we need to place it on the wild board right and the leopard gonna go which shape should we pick do you know? Yes, it's this one. We should pick this one. Great. 
beautiful. Then let's take the next shape. Let's turn around. Who we have here? You know the name of that animal for sure. It's a lion. Great. And the king of the jungle. So let's think where we can put the lion. On a wild animal board or on a farm animal board? Which one? Yes, right, on the wild animal board. And there is one place for the lion, and it is, can you see? Yes, it is here. Well done. And let's take the, another animal. And who we have here? It's called ram. Okay, and ram is the farm animal or the wild animal. Let's decide. Should we place here? or here yes correct the ram is farm animal and here is the place for the ram let's put here great amazing and let's look at those numbers so here we have the number seven and let's look at the number board here is one two three four five six and seven and let's put our wheels. One, two, three, four, five, next one, six, and the last one, seven. Amazing. And let's look at the next number. And this is number nine. Okay. And it's a pink color, right? Let's look at the board where we can place the number nine. Can you see? Yes, we can place the number nine here. Great. And let's take the wheels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the last one. Yes, nine. We've completed almost the number board the farm animal board and the wild animal board and we have left with three beautiful crayons we have the blue crayon the green crayon and the red crayon let's take the red one and shake it and then open okay we have here three animals and this is called zebra and where does zebra live Yes, in the savanna. So let's take the zebra and place in the same kind of shape, you know? So let's put here. Great, well done. And the next one animal that we're gonna open gonna be cow. And where should place the cow? On the wild animal board or on the farm animal board? Where should we, should we place, here or here? Yes, you're right, we should put the cow on a farm animal board. So here is the place for the cow, let's try. Great, well done. And let's take the next one, who we have here. Okay, this is the duck. It's a small animal, but is a duck the farm animal or the wild animal? Yes, the duck is the farm animal. So here is the place for the duck. Let's try. Great, amazing. And then let's look at the numbers. So here we have number two and it's a red color. Let's look at the number board. Here is one and this one is called two. And we also have two wheels great we have one and two amazing and then let's look at this number this is number one and it's also red color so let's take the number one and place it at the beginning of the counting right so one two so one is always first and then let's place our wheel like this Great! We almost completed two animal boards and the number boards. And we only left with two crayons. 
So let's beat the green crayon. Let's shake. And what we have here? Here we have the savannah tree. And where does the savannah tree grow? It grows in savannah. So the savannah tree is the wild tree. So we need to place that tree. It's not an animal, it's a tree. So here is the place for the savannah tree. Let's try. Great, well done. And then let's look at this animal. Who is that? You know it? It is goat with a bell, right? And the goat is smiling. So is it the wild animal or the farm animal? Let's decide. Where should it go? Yes, it is farm animal. And we only have three empty places left. So we need to fit this goat in. Can you see? Yes, here's the place for the goat. Great, amazing. And let's take the next one. So who we have here? It's called rhino. So the rhino is wild animal right and here we have the wild animal board and here is the last empty space for the animal and i think it's for the rhino let's try amazing beautiful and then let's take the next animal and who we have here and here we have turkey right and turkey is let's look at the board so we already completed the wild animal board. So this is, is the farm animal. So here is the place for the turkey. Okay, let's do it. Great, amazing. And then let's learn about the number. So this is number four and it's a green color number. So let's count together. One, two, three and four amazing and let's take the wheels one two three and four well done we almost completed but we already completed the wild animal board and we only left with the last crayon and it is blue one okay so here we have two animals. This one is called donkey and it's a farm animal. And let's look at our farm animal board where we can put the donkey. Where is the space for the donkey? Yes, here is the space for the donkey. Let's do it together. Great, beautiful. And then let's take the next one. And it is called, you know it, it is goose. And let's take the goose to the farm animal board. And here's the last space for the goose. Yes, well done, congratulations. We've completed the farm animal board and the wild animal board. So we just need to complete the number board. So let's learn about the numbers. So this is number five, right? And the number five is blue color. So let's place on the number board. Here is the space and the shape for the five, like this. And let's put the wheels. One, two, three, four, and last one, five. Amazing. And let's look at this number. This is number eight. And it's also the blue color. So where we can, where we should place the number eight? You see, there is only one spot left here after the number seven. So let's do it here. Great. And let's take the wheels and place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the last one, eight. Amazing. So we completed the farm animal board. So this is cow, this is rabbit, this is rooster, this one is goat, 
this one is sheep this one is goose this one is ram this one is dog bull pig donkey and turkey and on a wild animal board we have leopard monkey lion rhino zebra yak elephant so mama elephant and baby elephant savanna tree and giraffe great and let's look at the number board and let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine and the last one ten well done we've completed all the boards see you in the next video great we just finished our first game so let's continue with the second one let's go today we have a hedgehog puzzle and you can see we have a hedgehog that's holding three apples one two and three so let's get start and solve this puzzle okay so how are we going to solve this puzzle and the first step that we're gonna do we're gonna take each one of these cubes and we're gonna rotate and we're gonna try to find the, some kind of part of the hedgehog and right now i'm rotating this cube to see if there is the hedgehog for example here we can see the yellow bird right but we need a hedgehog and you can see here that we have mushrooms and the hedgehog mouth okay great so we found our first puzzle let's place it on the puzzle board great let's continue with the next one let's take this puzzle cube and rotate and see if we can look for the hedgehog so who is that do you know who is this this is the owl okay so but we need a hedgehog so this could be the part of the hedgehog right so this is the hedgehog hair so let's take this puzzle and place it on our puzzle board and continue with the next one again the first thing that we do we always rotate like this right so great so here we can see another mushroom and the hedgehog hair amazing so let's take this to our puzzle board and we already found three puzzle pieces one two and three great well done let's continue with the next one so as we always re rotate right we rotate and see if there is the hedgehog and you can see here we have the apple and the hedgehog hair so this is the part of the apple right so let's take this puzzle piece to our puzzle board and let's take the next one and then what we're gonna do we're gonna rotate like this and see if there is the hedgehog image or maybe apple or maybe mushroom is this an apple is this the apple yes this is the red apple okay so we're gonna take this to our puzzle board and then let's take the next one and rotate and see if there is the hedgehog right so we're gonna rotate and see and when we see it let's stop and look if this is the hedgehog is this the hedgehog this might be the part of the hedgehog so this might be the small legs of the hedgehog should we take this to our puzzle board yes let's do it so let's take to our puzzle board and the next one we have cube that again what we are doing we are rotating right and we're trying to see if there's some kind of hedgehog part or maybe the apple or maybe the small mushroom or maybe the face of the hedgehog right but if we can find anything then we're gonna move this away and we're gonna take the next one so again we rotate and we see if there is the hedgehog right if there is no then we're gonna place it away so let's see 
Can you see the hedgehog maybe? I can't, so let's maybe move away right now. So put aside and take the next one. And let's go through again. We are rotating and looking for that hedgehog part. Or maybe the mushroom or maybe the apple, right? So it's gonna be important to, to focus on this cube, right, that we are rotating. Mm, okay, let's move it aside and let's take the next one. It's okay if we can find the hedgehog right away. It's totally okay. We're just trying to find some kind of part that we can place on our puzzle board, right? So it doesn't seem that this cube have some kind of head. Oh, what do you think of this one? Hmm, it might be that this is the apple and this is the part of the hedgehog. Okay, let's take this to our puzzle board. And then let's continue with the next one. So let's rotate and see if there is some kind of part of the hedgehog, right? So hmm, at the moment, I can't see, so we are rotating, but there is no any, any kind of clue if this is the hedgehog or not. So let's move it away. Let's take the next one. Okay, and let's rotate and see if there is the hedgehog. Hmm. Oh, who is that is? Is this a hedgehog? Can you see there is the eye and the nose? Great, let's take this puzzle piece to our puzzle board. And let's take the next one and rotate, right? Mm, can you see the red apple here? Let's do it again. And let me know if you see the red apple. Is this a red apple? What do you think? Is this the red apple on the hedgehog? Yes, let's take. Great. Then let's take another one and rotate. And let's see if there is some kind of part of the hedgehog. Let's do it again. And what do you see here? Can you tell me who is that? Who is that ear? So this is the ear and this is the part of the eye and hair of the hedgehog. Great, let's take this to our puzzle board. And the next one, let's rotate and see if there's maybe the legs of the hedgehog, right? So let's rotate again and hmm, who is that? I think it might be the body of the hedgehog, the body with the legs and the body. So let's take this to our puzzle board. Amazing. So the next one, the last puzzle piece. So let's move it and then rotate. So what we need to look for gonna be the red apple on the hedgehog. So let's rotate this way. Mm, this seems to me like a red apple. What do you think? Let me know. Do you think that this is the red apple? Mm, yes, and this is the mushroom. And this the brown image here, right? It's from the hedgehog. So let's take this and place on our puzzle board. So you can see we found different puzzle pieces to complete our puzzle and we still have some puzzle pieces that we need later to use. So let's at the moment do not use them and let's go through the this puzzle pieces. Where we're gonna start gonna be the face of the hedgehog. So here we have the mouth, right? So let's move it away everything and here we have the mouth. So we're gonna first trying to create the hedgehog face. So here we have a mouth, here we have the eye and the nose. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna connect them together like this. Great, well done. And then the next one gonna be the body and the legs of the hedgehog. Hmm, it doesn't work this well, right? So we need another puzzle piece. And I think another one could be this one. So let's move it side and take this and yes, good job. And then another piece that we tried before could be this one. So we're gonna move it here, great. And then let's try to complete this part. So let's take the ear of the hedgehog and let's move it 
to another side brain and then what we need here we see there's like a small part of the apple so what we're gonna do we're gonna take that puzzle piece with the apple and let's try to fit in our puzzle piece like this hmm seems to me that it works pretty well great so the next one gonna be the hair and the apple right so here we have the hair and maybe what we should do is to try this one seems to me that everything works well and then what we're gonna do we're gonna move down our puzzle like this okay because the hair is pretty big so there is other two apples so let's take this puzzle piece with a mushroom so we're gonna finish the bottom part and yes well done great job so then what we're gonna do we're gonna take the other apples so we have other two apples so let's try to take this one and maybe move here hmm what do you think this this does this work or maybe we should move it to to the right like this hmm. i think let's leave it like that and see if we later need to rearrange so let's take another one with the apple and okay that's great so we have two apples and the hat so let's take with the mushroom so here we have the mushroom and here we have the mushroom so let's try to combine and great so and another puzzle piece you could see that we have small part of the apple right so we're gonna take this and we're gonna move down like this so what we left is the tree at the top so let's go back to our puzzle pieces that we're gonna rotate and we're gonna try to see if there is the leaves and the tree so this could be from that hedgehog puzzle so let's take this and let's try to place somewhere here right like that great we found another puzzle piece and then let's rotate again and see if there is another puzzle piece again it's a leaves and tree right that's what we need so let's take this and we need maybe to try like this great we only need two puzzle pieces to complete the whole puzzle amazing so let's rotate and see if there is the leaves so this could be the leaves but this one is the bamboo leaves so when we're gonna take this one and we're gonna place it it's not gonna work right even here so what we need to do we need to rotate again and see if there's another part of the leaves like this one let's try and great well done so we only have one puzzle piece that's left so let's go through hmm. let's rotate and see this could be the tree right that's what we need so let's take this and place it great we've completed our puzzle with a hedgehog so we found the hedgehog the apples right so we have three apples one two three we also have mushrooms here so we have one two three four five six mushrooms and we also have the tree at the top you can see and we have many leaves there great well done see you in the next video oh wow this second game was spectacular okay so it's time for the game number three let's go and today we're gonna learn how to count the numbers the colors the animals behind those letters the alphabet the fruits the shapes and everything else let's start oh where did they go we don't have any more numbers we don't have alphabet 
and we don't have shapes and we don't have also our animals and we need to find them and we need to find them in those crayons so we have colorful crayons and the first crayon that we're gonna pick gonna be the red one let's shake and let's open like this wow so many things here okay so maybe let's start with the fish so here we have the fish that has number three and it's a red fish so where should we place we have one two and three here's gonna be our fish great let's continue with our puzzle and the next one that we're gonna take gonna be the number three look at this this is the number three and it's a red color and where we should place let's count one two and three we should place it here great and let's continue with the next one and next one that we're gonna take gonna be the letter d okay and we need to find the letter d so this is a for alligator this is b letter bear this is cat c and this is d duck great let's place it here and let's take the next letter and the next letter that we're gonna take gonna be the letter m great and the letter m we need to find here so let's look is it cat is the first letter c is m no let's look around maybe h no okay so m is for monkey great and we should place it here amazing and let's take the next letter and the next letter that we're gonna take gonna be the letter t and let's look where we can place the letter t where we can fit it so we have let's say octopus and octopus starts with letter O, but O is not letter T, no. So let's look around. So what what animal we have for letter T? Tiger, yes, T, tiger. Great, well done. And the next that we're gonna take, gonna be the shape. And it's a violet color shape, right? And we need to find the fruit that represents the shape okay so let's look where we can place it can we place here no it's an apple can we place maybe here you see here is the dragon fruit and we can see that this is a shape that we can fit in great and let's go with the next one shape and here is the green shape a green shape we can place maybe here because here is a watermelon okay like this great and let's take this and this is the symbol or how it's called the sign and it's called equal sign and it's used in a map so let's look around where we can put it and i can see that here is the minus sign here is the plus sign and here is the equal sign great and it's a red color and let's look for the next one and next one we have minus sign for subtraction okay let's look where we can place and there is a lot of place where we can do can we place maybe here no it doesn't fit here it's too big for this space okay so here we have plus sign here we have equal sign and this is minus sign great and it's a red color amazing and the next one what we have is our earth it's where we live it's where humans live it's where the animals live so let's find the place okay hmm, where it could be and i see that he it it is also the earth and this one also so it matches together so we can place it like this great let's continue with the next one 
and the next crayon that we're gonna take gonna be the green crayon so let's open great we have a lot of things here we have two fishes and numbers and animals so let's start with the fish and this is fish that has the number four so let's find where we can put it and let's go one two three and four great amazing and let's look at those numbers so this is number four and where we should place it yes one two three and four great amazing and the next one number that we're gonna take gonna be the number five and where we should put it let's count one two three four and five here great and we have here the number five so we're gonna place it right here after the number four great let's continue with our journey and the next that we're gonna solve gonna be the alphabet so here we have the letter e and we need to find the elephant so the first letter of the elephant is letter e eh, eh. so there is alligator bear cat duck and elephant and elephants are living in a savanna great and let's take the next letter and the next letter that we're gonna take gonna be the letter j great and let's see where we can place this letter mm. and which animal represents that so i can see here is the giraffe but it's a g letter it's not j letter right so let's look here here we have the cute animal called jaguar great and let's place this letter here amazing and let's continue with the next one and next one letter that we have is letter u and it's a red color letter and let's see where we can put it hmm. can you see the place i can see here we have the unicorn unicorn and this is letter u so we can fit it here like this great and let's continue with our shapes so here we have the green shape okay and let's find the place where we can fit hmm you see there is the apple and this is matches our shape so it also have five sides okay great amazing let's take the next one and the next one we have yellow shape and let's see yellow shape represents the fruit called kiwi so let's find the kiwi can you see the kiwi yes it's here this is the kiwi and this is our yellow shape great amazing well done and let's see who we have here and here we have the elephant and look the elephant is smiling to us so let's find where we can put the elephant can you see on this board the elephant yes it's here here is the elephant and elephants they have the big ears okay great and let's continue and let's take the next crayon and the next crane that we're gonna take gonna be the yellow crane and let's shake it and open wow so many things we have here we have letters we have fish we have shape great let's start so here we have the fish and it has the number two okay and let's see where we can place it so we have number one and here we have number two and we can place it right here and it's an orange color great and then let's look at this number 
So this number is yellow color and it's number called one. And it always starts with the number one when we count. So when we say one, two, three. So it starts with number one here. Great, well done. So then let's take the letter S and let's see where we can place in our alphabet. Okay, so we have a lot of letters here. So letter S and we need to find the ship. Can you see the animal called ship? Can you see it? Yes, it's here. Great. Can, we can place here the letter S. And let's continue with next one letter. And the next one letter is letter Z. And we need to find the animal called zebra. Where the animal zebra? Yes, it's here. Great, let's put it here. Amazing. And let's continue. The next one, we have the letter L. And L, we need to find the animal called lion. And you can see the lion is here. And lion, they are live in savannah. Great. And let's take the next one. And here is the C. And we pronounce it like K. -k. So we need to find the cat, right? Where is the cat? Yes, the cat is here. C. Cat. Great. And next, we have the shape. And this shape has basically five sides. So we need to find the shape which has the five sides, like this, right? So let's find it. And we need to find the fruit called pomegranate. So, and it is here. Great, we can place the shape here. Amazing, and let's take this one. What we have here? Oh, we have here the alien in his spaceship. Great, and where we can see the alien on this board? Can you see the alien? Yes, it's here. Great. And let's continue with the next crayon. And next crayon that we're gonna pick, gonna be the pink crayon. Let's shake and open. Great, we have so many things here that we need to go through. But as always, let's go through the numbers. And the number here, we have fish and the number is seven. So let's find the number seven. Here is one, two, three, four, five, six, and yes, seven. And here we can place our fish. Great, let's continue. Okay, and the next one is number that we're gonna be gonna be the number six. Great, and let's see where we can place the number six. So we have here the number one, two, three, four, five, and six. Great, and let's pick the next one. So what we have here is the number seven. Look, it's a number seven. And when we should place the number seven, can you see on the board where we should place? Yes, we have five, six, and seven. Correct, well done. And next one number that we have is number six. And the number six, we should place right after the number five. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Great, we almost completed our number board. So let's continue with the letters. Which letter it is? Can you say this letter name? Yes, it's letter F. F, F. So we need to find the animal called fox. Let's search where it could be. Can you see the fox? Yes, I know, you could see it. It's here, F, fox, great. And let's continue with the next one letter. And next one letter we have is letter V, V, V. So we need to find the animal called vampire bat. Where you can see the vampire bat, can you see 
Yes, it's here, right after the letter U. V. V. Great. Amazing. And let's take the next letter. And the next letter that we have is O. So we need to find the octopus. O. Oh, o. Oh. So it goes right after the N. O. Oh, here. Great. And let's go through the shapes. And here we have the shape that has the four sides. One, two, three, and four. And we need to find the pineapple on this board. Can you see the pineapple? Yes, it's here. So we can place our shape like that. Great. And the next one we have circle. Can you see the orange circle? And can you find the orange, the fruit called orange? Yes, the orange is here. So we could place our circle down here. Great. And let's look what we have here. We have F, fox. Remember, we just have the letter F that represented the fox. And here we have the fox. So where should we place the fox? Can you see? Yes. We should put it like this. Great. We step by step completing our puzzle. So let's continue. And the next crayon that we're gonna paint gonna be the blue crayon. So let's take and shape like this. And let's open. Great. We have so many things that we need to process and go through. So let's start with our fishes and the fish that represents the number eight. Okay, and let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And here is the word eight. So we can place our fish here. Great. And let's look at this number. This number is number eight. Great. And we just count it. So number eight goes right after the number seven. Right here. Great. And let's look at this fish. This fish represents the number nine. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Great. And let's take the number that call nine. This number is called nine. It's, and this number is a blue color. So let's put it here like this. Great. And let's take the next. So the next going to be the letter G. And we need to find giraffe on this alphabet. Can you see the giraffe? Can you see it? Yes, it's here. So it's A. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Great. And let's take the next one. And the next one is W letter. It's called the W, right? So can you see the whale? Can you see the whale? Because the whale animal represents the letter W. Can you see it? Yes, it's here. We can put like this. Great. And let's take the next one. Letter. This is letter called P. 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 So we need to find the penguin. Okay. Can you see the penguin? Yes, I can see it. It's here. Great finding. You're doing amazing. So we put it here. And let's go with this. This is called the plus sign. And it's used in the math to add to the numbers, right? So we need to find the sign where we can place it. And you can see it's really small. Here we have the minus sign. Here we have equal sign. And here we have plus sign. Great. Well done. And let's take the heart. So this is the heart shape. And we need to find where we can place it. And we need to find the strawberry. Can you see the strawberry? Yes, it's here. 
Here we have the heart shape and the strawberry. Great, well done. So let's take the rectangle. And where we place the rectangle? Can you see? It's called a rectangle. It has the four sides. It has one, two, three, and four. And it's a pink color. Can you see? Here's also one side, two, three, and four. Great. And it's called square, right? Okay, and let's take the next one. And the next one, we have the dinosaur. And it's called the T-Rex. Okay, and where we can place the T-Rex? Yes, here is the place for the T-Rex. Great. And here we have another dinosaur. Can you see where we can place another dinosaur? Yes, it goes right here. Great. And we are only left with two crayons. We have the orange crayon and we have the brown crayon. So let's take the orange crayon, right? Let's take and shape like this. And what we have here? We have here the letters, the numbers, the shapes, and the, also the sign, right? So let's go through. But let's start with the fish. So we have here the fish that represents the number one. And can you see the number one on this board? Can you see? Yes, here is the number one. And we can place our fish like this. Great. And let's take this number. This number is number two. And where we can place the number two? Can you see on this board? Here is the duck. And duck two, right? One, two. Great. We almost found all our numbers. And let's continue with the letters. And here we have the letter called A. And we need to find the alligator. And we pronounce this letter as A. Uh, uh. So let's find it. So here, can you see the alligator? Great, amazing. Let's place it. And let's pick the next one letter. And the next one letter gonna be letter H. And can you see, where is the horse? Can you see the horse? Yes, I can see, here is the horse. And we can place this letter like this. Great, let's continue. And the next one, we have letter Q. And we need to find the animal called quail. Where is the quail? Can you see it? It's somewhere here. Yes, it's next to the rabbit. Here is the quail, Q, that represents the letter Q. Great, amazing finding. So, and the next letter that we have is letter X. And it's a green color letter. So we need to find the X-ray fish. Can you see the X-ray fish? Here it is, X-ray fish. Great, amazing. So let's take the next one. And this is the letter that we call I, right? And I goes right after the letter H. So let's go through A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and I, great, we almost found all our letters on this board. And we have another letter, it's called N, N, N. So we need to find a narwhal. And where is the narwhal on this board? Let's see, can you see? This is the narwhal and this is the letter N, right? Great, amazing. So let's take the shape and here is the green color and it's called the star shape. And where we can place the star shape? We need to find the flower. Can you see the flower here? Here is the flower and here is the star shape. And we can put like, like this, great. And what we have here? Oh, this is the fire truck that helps to prevent the fire with the water. And let's see where we can put this fire truck. Let's look. Can you see the place? Yes, this is the fire truck. So we can put like this. Great. And 
amazing. And the last crayon that we're gonna open gonna be the brown crayon. So it's gonna help us to complete our puzzle board. Okay. So we have here the fish and fish represents the number 10. And where is the number 10 on this board? Can you see the number 10? Yes, it's here, number 10. So we can put this fish here and let's take the number. So this is the number 10. Again, it's called the number 10 and it's a violet color. So we can place here. Great, we've completed all our numbers. And let's go through the letters. And the letter that we have here is letter K, K. And we need to find the koala. And where is the koala? Let's look, can you see the koala? Yes, it's here, the koala. And it's letter K. Okay, great. And let's take the next letter. We have the letter B. And who represents that letter B? It's bear. And we have A and B, bear. So we can place this letter here. Great. And the next one letter that we have is letter R. And can you see on this board the rabbit? Can you see the rabbit? Yes, the rabbit, R, the rabbit. Great. Well done. And the last letter that we have is letter Y and it's and we need to find the yuck yuck where is the yuck can you see I know you can right it's here the yuck great and it's a pink color letter and the last shape that we have is a blue shape and can you find the fruit called pear can you find yes it's here great and what we have here, let's turn around. And here we have a truck, truck, right? And we need to find the place for this shape, for the truck shape. Can you see the truck? Can you see the truck? Yes, it's here. Here is the truck and here is our shape. Great. We completed the wall puzzle game. Great. And we have those fishes and we have the numbers and we have the alphabet. So let's go through. We found all the numbers. We found number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great. And we found the symbols. We found the minus sign. We found the equal sign. And we found the plus sign. And let's go through the alphabet. So this is letter A, this is letter B, letter C, letter D, letter E, letter F, letter G, letter H, letter I, letter J, letter K, letter L, letter M, letter N, letter O, letter P, letter Q, letter R. And this letter, you know it, it's letter S. And this is letter T, and this one U, and the next one V, and the next one W, and this X, this one Y, and the last one Z. Amazing! And we also found different shapes. This is the green color, green color shape. This one also green color shape. This one pink color shape. This one pink also color shape. And this one, you know, it's a green color shape and it's a shape of the star. And this one, it's a blue color shape. And this one, it's a also blue color shape. And this color, you know it, it's, it's a color called violet color. And the next color, it's called the yellow color. And the next one, orange color. And the last, it's a heart shape. It's called red color shape, right? Great. And also we found the fire truck, you see? And it has the red color. And the next is truck that helps people. And the next one is alien sitting in his spaceship. 
okay how this is called you know it it's called earth that's where we live and this animal you know it it has the big ears it's called elephant and this one is fox fox great and this one we have the dinosaur great and the last one we have the dinosaur called t-rex amazing we've completed the world puzzle marvelous i'm thrilled and excited that we've done so quickly and you've done such an amazing job congratulations wow those three games were amazing and awesome see you in the next video thank you kids bye see you next time don't forget to subscribe